My name is Desmond Mitchell. I work with the utilities team on Sutena Nation, and we're just going to do a walkthrough of our main Fish Creek lift station, go over some of the components, and uh, just basic operation of uh, a lift station. So <clears throat> we have two sides of this. We have a dry and a wet, dry well, wet well. Currently, the setup we have now, all of our pumps are on the wet well. We have the control panels and we have the HMI screen which lets us see what's going on. So come on over to the screen and we'll walk through some operations. <clears throat> you can see we have our three pumps, one, two, and three. They're currently off right now. I have operators down there um, just cleaning up after doing some repairs. And then this is basically what we're writing down every day. We're keeping track of our pressure, our liters per second, which is obviously at zero. We're not pumping reservoir levels, sorry, wet well levels. And uh, we can go over some of the components. We have in this building a blower to put oxygen into the wastewater and as well as a mixer to make sure, you know, that soup stays in a soup and not necessarily, not necessarily a solid form. Back over here, room two. So a big part of any lift station should be a backup power source. So if your power goes out, your wastewater won't stop because chances are you have a backup power source on your water side and that'll continue pumping. So this is a big one. We have other ones that are just out remote lift stations and we're able to tow a generator there and plug them in with the cable. So backup generator, and you can see the scale of this thing. It's, it's a monster. So in the event the power goes out, this automatically kicks on. We run checks monthly. Uh, we bring someone in annually to do the oil change and just go over and test everything. Some other equipment you'll notice here is this. This is our mixer. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's just a giant mixer down in the wet well. It just keeps that wastewater moving so it can't settle. And then we have a blower and it's a giant air compressor that focuses on volume, not pressure. And then that allows us to pump oxygen air into the wastewater. It helps on a few things. Um, your BODs, it's, uh, it's going to help stop solidifying anything. It, it, it's, not a, it's not a necessary, so if your lift station doesn't have it, don't go running out and try to retrofit it. Um, but if you're building a new one and you're not getting this kind of equipment, definitely ask a few questions. And then you'll see over here we have a bit of a makeshift injection system. And uh, because we don't have safe access if somebody is here alone to pour the chemicals down the drain or anything like that. We've rigged it up where we just turn on the pumps, quick and easy. Uh, there is no excuse to not get some enzymes and some degreaser down into our clear well to help out with our wastewater quality. 